in, boys and girls. It is Monday, June 1st. We made it to June 2020. Um, <clears throat> craziness going on in the country. Does anybody else notice that when you have a Republican president, uh, the country ends in disaster, and when you have a Democratic president, the country ends in prosperity? Um, just, a, just an observation. Um, anyway, I am going to install my backrest today. Backrest, luggage rack, and probably those um, side um, passenger floorboards uh, for my wife. Get that all set for her. She's, she's out of state working right now. It is a much nicer day than we've had lately. It's in the 70s. The humidity's down a little bit. So this is finally some, some really nice weather. Um, I'm cutting my own hair because I know, you know, my hair is a big concern nationwide. Um, and that's about it. Oh, well, <clears throat> let me just go on to say that after racking up a few hundred miles on the Valkyrie, it, it's just spectacular. I mean, it is a fantastic machine. It's gobs of power, very comfortable, tremendous lean angle. Um, you know, that, that awesome, uh, Goldwing motor, getting in the, I probably think, I think I'm getting in the low 30s as far as gas mileage goes, but regular gas, I can easily adjust the rear suspension, and the thing about the Valkyrie is it's got nothing I, I don't need, I mean, it, it has no stereo, I like that. I, I, cruise control, I, I like cruise control. That's the only thing it's missing that I like. But I don't have to deal with rider modes. It's got no ABS, no linked brakes, no slipper clutch. It, the, the, the dashboard has your fuel gauge, your speed, your RPM, trip AB, and total mileage, and the time. And that's it. And it's just simple, raw motorcycle with incredible power and incredible comfort. And, you know, as I've said many, many times, this is not a beginner bike. This is a heavy bike. It's got so much power, but you twist that throttle a little bit and it goes. So you better know what you're doing <laughs> when you get on this bike. But if you're an experienced rider and you just want the motorcycle experience without all the weight and bells and whistles and nonsense and scrolling through menus and, and you just want an awesome, awesome motorcycle, that's, that's the, uh, the GL1800 F6C from 2014-2015 uh, on the Valkyrie. So anyway, let's go install some goodies and then get out and ride. Look at this day, man. It's gorgeous out here. So as of right now, I have no manual on this thing. Unless maybe it's in here somewhere. But I believe all I got to do is pop off this passenger seat, which I think is released by a key hole, which maybe is covered by this panel. This is a helmet lock. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, I think it's just these bolts here. These four bolts here. I've got a feeling that's all I'm going to need to install the backrest and the, uh, and the luggage rack. And then as far as this goes, this looks like a very simple two or three bolt operation to uh, take these foot pegs off and replace them with floorboards. I'm perfectly happy with foot pegs for me. I will put highway pegs on this at some point, but right now I'm just not taking trips long enough to do that. This is where you open up the gas can, and this is my on-off switch for my fog lamps, which I leave on all the time. Oh, I should also put my little power takeoff up here too, so I can uh, power my phone while I ride. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that today. Alrighty, so let's get to it. Oh, and there's my Suzuki C50 still for sale. And for sale way below book. 
if you're interested, it costs about 300 bucks to ship that anywhere in the country. And we can use uh, escrow.com to make sure that <clears throat> I don't get paid until you get the bike. So, if you're interested. So, you know, again, I'm just discovering things. So, I, because I have no manual. So, I pulled off the uh, right hand side chrome cover. And you can see I found this uh, key hole. And if I look in there, looky, looky, what's in there? So there's an empty toolkit pouch. So I don't have any tools or manual, which I was kind of hoping to find in here. But check this out. You see that? I got a 12 volt cigarette style uh, lighter there. So I've got power. So that's very nice. I can uh, I can run power up to a uh, my electric vest and maybe somehow route that all the way up to my phone we'll, we'll see about that but pretty cool huh so that's the right hand side let's take a look at the left hand side so with the uh, left side panel off you can see I, I have this uh, very easy to use um, preload shock preload and it's actually marked low to high so I guessed right turning that counterclockwise three clicks the other day which did soften things up a bit but still kept it plenty sporty and you can see my battery but there is no key release to uh, remove pop off the, the rear seat so uh, I started looking online and there's really I can't find a YouTube or really anything on it except that it appears it's pretty just old-fashioned. You just push this cushion out of the way and use an Allen wrench and remove these two bolts. So it looks like that's what we have. So let's give that a till. That does uh, come off with a uh, five millimeter Allen wrench. And you can see there's a little insert here. So I don't want to lose that insert. So let's get the other one off and get the seat on. And so yes, gratefully, once I had these two uh, nuts bolts out of there, the seat slid off. I'm not even going to attempt to get the driver's seat off. I don't. I just wanted clearance to these bolts, which I'm pretty sure are where my uh, backrest and um, luggage rack are going to attach. Plus, I'll clean this fender up a bit. So here's my stuff. Here's backrest and... Um, all the backrest here's the luggage rack I am hoping and praying I have all the hardware I need and in this box here should be the two um, passenger floorboards and maybe if I get too hot and sweaty I'll wait on those but uh, let's see what we can do with the rest of this and stuff so this is encouraging looks like I have hardware and instructions so I'm gonna read both and try not to get coffee all over them and uh, so proceed. my instructions turned out to be a link to a website so let's follow that URL so that link sent me to just a generic Honda Power Sports site and uh, it'd take me forever to go looking through that but you don't have to be much of a genius to see that these holes are gonna line up one two three four with those four bolts as I suspected and also I'm seeing uh, uh, four the four holes in the back here for the, um, the luggage rack. So this is going to be pretty simple so stuff. Put this towel here so I don't scratch the paint because these bottom ones, these back bolts are very, very close and I really have to wedge it in there. But it is coming off, so I'll get these four off. I see these rubber, no, those are not rubber grommets. Those are, that's just metal, bolt on metal. I have new bolts and I have rubber grommets, so without benefit of instructions, I'll just have to figure out something that makes sense but I don't think it's going to be too hard to get this right so also as I did this I see that these metal brackets here are actually the brackets holding the uh, the saddlebags as well so I took everything out of the saddlebag to reduce the rate uh, weight excuse me so let's get the other side off so what should have been a very simple job has turned into an absolute nightmare you see this slight gap between where that hole is and where this is with all of my might I cannot lift this up high enough attached to the saddlebag mount to get that to line up and screw in. So then I've tried to take these bolts off, loosen these, and these are locked tight from hell, so I can't get them off. 
with a with a wrench, an adjustable wrench. So now I'm taking the saddlebag off, and this is this is the kind of stuff, man. This is why I don't work on these bikes because they drive me insane. Um, but this is where I'm gonna have to call on patience that I just don't normally have. So I'm gonna take the saddlebag off. I'm gonna loosen up that bracket and try to get it to line up, and then put it all back together. So, I'm actually very pleased to say I'm making progress. I had to take the uh, saddlebag off, loosen these up in order to get these guys to bolt on properly. But all that's done. This is absolutely solid. For whatever reason, I didn't have to take off the left side saddlebag. Now I've slipped the uh, passenger seat back on. Thank God it goes in. And now I simply have to bolt that down, put the backrest on here, and famous last words, but the luggage rack should be a fairly simple bolt-on here without much trouble. Ha! I thought this whole thing would be a 15-minute bolt-on. <clears throat> Excuse me, and nothing is fit. Nothing has worked. I've been out here for an hour. I'm in my boxer shorts because I'm sweating like a bastard. I had to take my motorcycle pants off. And, uh, pretty sexy, huh? Um... But I'm, I'm very proud of myself because, you know, patience. I'm showing patience that I'm getting this done. So, making progress. Backrest on, pads on. It's nice that they drilled holes rather than these little punchy, pointy things for me to figure out where I want this. I'd rather have them do the research and tell me where those holes should be. So, luggage rack. Get the saddle back back on. 12.30. I started this at 11, I believe. Not sure. So this looks to me like it could not be simpler. I've just got four bolts, four holes, luggage rack. One cool thing about this motorcycle, too, is I don't have to worry about stripping stuff off of it to make it go faster. <laughs> it goes plenty fast enough. So uh, a little extra weight is not going to be an issue. So let's get this on, get that saddlebag on. Holy hell. This was way more than I bargained for because just nothing lined up. Everything fought me. And, you know, incredibly, but not surprisingly, look at this. This doesn't fit either. This has to be jammed and forced in. Unbelievable. This is all Honda OEM stuff. This is an aftermarket. And nothing has fit so far without a titanic battle. It was so difficult to get these to line up. And uh, you might guess what my favorite tool is. Can you guess what my favorite tool is? My favorite tool is my big rubber mallet to just hit things with. Um, I find that that's probably the best tool for most jobs for me. Um, I did not have my big rubber mallet here. It's at home. So I had to kick this repeatedly and then use this to try to leverage this in and bend the hell out of this uh, screwdriver to get those to line up. Jesus, Honda, really? So, boys and girls, I am drenched in sweat. I was literally just pouring off my lips, spitting sweat. Um, but she's all done. Backrest luggage rack. This should have been a 15 minute bolt on. This was two hours of hell. Now, I haven't put these uh, uh, floorboards on yet because I'm kind of done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't understand that. I really don't. I do understand why mechanics don't do yoga because they do yoga all effing day long. And glasses are steaming up. Wow, that was it. That was intense. Anyway, that's it for me today as far as this installation goes. I hope you enjoyed it more than I did. And uh, bye for now.